This is Direct Short Circuit. Welcome to another Direct Current Short Circuit, your quick energy boost in audio form. I'm Matt Dozier. And I'm Allison Lantero. This short circuit is devoted to one of the most ubiquitous items in the world, an item you can probably see from wherever you're listening. We're talking about the light bulb. That's right. The story of how the light bulb came to light is a fascinating one that we think even a child could understand. So with that, stick around for an illuminating tale of a mother, child, and some particularly enlightened bulbs. Hi, Noah. So what did you learn at school today? We're learning about electricity. Really? And what did you learn about electricity? Well, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb and then he turned it into a grid. Yeah, um, that's not quite right. It's not? Then who did? Well, that's a tough one. No one person can be credited with creating it. Now you see this bulb that I'm taking out of this lamp? It's called an incandescent light bulb. Incandescent. Condescent. <laughs> Close. Let's call this light bulb arc. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Noah. I was invented by a man named Humphrey Davy around the year 1809. Gee, that's a long time ago when you say it out loud. He demonstrated the first incandescent light to the Royal Institute in Great Britain using a bank of batteries and two charcoal rods. Arc lamps, like me, provided many cities with their first electric street lights. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Arc. I'm Noah. Pleased to meet you, Noah. I look a little different than I did in those days. In 1904, I got a new filament. That's the part of me that heats up to create light. Someone figured out that a tungsten filament lasted longer, was brighter, and more efficient than lamps with carbon filaments. A man named Irving Langmuir filled me with gas. <laughs> he said gas. Well, yes. Langmuir realized that inert gas like nitrogen doubled my efficiency. That means I provide the same amount of light, but I use a lot less energy. But wait, then why is Thomas Edison famous? Well, Edison did help improve the light bulb, but he also focused on the entire lighting system. He showed that you could make electricity in one place and then send it to lots of homes and buildings. Like power lines? Exactly! He actually developed the first power plant. It was called Pearl Street Station. Okay, so why are there some light bulbs that look like arc, and then others that are long skinny tubes like the ones at school? That's a really great question, Noah. In the 1800s, two German scientists discovered that they could produce light by removing almost all of the air from a long glass tube and passing an electrical current through it. They called it a Geissler tube. Mm, let me see if I can find a picture of it online. Can he have a voice too? Hi. I'm Geisler. I make up the basis of most fluorescent lights, like the ones in schools and office buildings. By 1951, I was way more popular than my grandpa Ark, mostly because people needed efficient lighting during World War II. Okay, so what about the weird curly lights? Well, the weird curly light is Ark's granddaughter, C.F. Ellie. Hey there. When were you born? I was born in 1976. Edward Hammer at General Electric figured out how to bend the fluorescent tube into a spiral shape, creating the first compact fluorescent light, or as we call it, CFL. I hit the market in the mid-1980s and ranged from $25 to $35 a bulb. That sounds like a lot of money. It was, but we lived a lot longer than my granddad, the arc lamps, and we could fit into all the same fixtures. Aw, arc got replaced? Well, Noah, I look at it more like a retirement. These young whippersnappers outrun me every time, so I'm okay with it. In fact, my great-great-granddaughter, Letty, is in the bag over there. This one, Mommy? Yep, that's Letty. And how do you fit into this whole light bulb family? Well, back in 1962... I asked Letty. Oh, right. Well, the first three letters of my name, LED, stand for light emitting diode. And I'm technically older than CF Ellie, but back then I was only able to shine red. Back when? Oh, way back in 1962. That's when Nick Kalanick Jr. at General Electric invented me. I shined yellow, then green. But for decades, no one could figure out how to make me shine white. 
and what that means is an even balance of all the different colors in the visible spectrum. What changed then? Well, they invented blue LEDs, and then in the 1990s, scientists figured out they could coat bulbs like me in a substance called a phosphor to make us shine white. I need 75% less energy and last 25 times longer compared to incandescent lighting. That's because I don't waste heat like other types of bulbs. We're talking 90% less than incandescents and 80% less than CFLs. But that's not all. I can fit into the same fixtures as CFLE. Since 2008, I'm 85% cheaper. And most recently, a number of stores announced that they'll be selling me for $10 or less. That's a bargain. Wow, Mom. Even I have $10. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to make you spend that on light bulbs, sweetheart. Lights like Letty also save mommy money on our electric bill, meaning I can buy you more clothes and toys and candy. Here's your keys, mommy. Where are we going? We need to go get more Letty, and then maybe we could stop by the toy store. Huh, <laughs> cute. It's time to turn out the lights on this episode of Direct Current. You can learn all about the history of the light bulb, including an interactive timeline at energy.gov slash podcast. While you're there, you can find plenty of other fascinating energy stories. And if you have questions about this episode or any other episode, you can email us at directcurrent at hq.doe.gov or tweet at energy. If you're enjoying Direct Current, help us spread the word. Tell your friends about the show and leave us a rating or review on iTunes. We appreciate the feedback. We'd like to give a big thank you to Vernon Heron for writing this episode. And another big thank you to our cast of characters. The mother and son duo were played by Fiza Akhtar and her son Noah. Ark was played by Ernie Ambrose. Vernon Heron played the role of Geisler. C.F. Alley was played by Bianca Katanis and Court Creer was Letty. Direct Current is produced by Simon Edelman, Allison Lantero, and me, Matt Dozier. Art and design by Court Creer with support from Paul Lester, Ernie Ambrose, and Atik Waraish. We're a production of the U.S. Department of Energy and published from our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. Until next time, thanks for listening. <laughs>